I'm excited. Hi guys, guess what? Another bonus episode. And this one has nothing to do with fiber. Dan's here, he's gonna help. It's Taco Tuesday. You wanna know how you know it's Taco Tuesday? Because Dan will only wear his shirt on Tuesday because you can't wear a Taco Tuesday shirt on any other day other than Tuesday because he shelled it. No, because I'm right. When do you wear your Sunday shirt? On Thursday? He also has a Sunday fun day shirt. What are you, an anarchist? That he only wears on Sunday. <laughs> it's a fun day Sunday shirt. Dan's drinking bourbon. I'm drinking Coors Light. And you know, my good old fashioned uh, ditto helped decorate this. Dan looks out the back window the other day and he's like, um, ditto has your koozie. That's not how it happened, but we'll go with that. How did it happen? I said, oh shit, what does he have? And ran out the door. This is the reason we're here today. I have to tell you the story. I am going to record a full episode after this, but this video will be posted before my next episode will. <laughs> Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter was talking the other day, it's not the other day, it's been a while ago now, about how someone had mentioned, they were talking about Plarn, and for those of you who aren't spinners, Plarn is when you make, well, not necessarily even spinners, I suppose you wouldn't even have to spin it, but it's when you make yarn out of plastic bags. And somebody mentioned to her that milk bags make the best plarn and, and she was like i can only think that it's and she showed milk in a bag there were like three bags of milk in one bag and she was like i'm thinking that she meant the outside bag because the inside bags of course have milk in them and to wash out milk bags seems like a pain in the butt yeah, what? what milk 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 Milk. Shut up. No. Dan doesn't like milk. the way I say milk. milk. Anyway, milk bags. The whole time I'm like, what? <laughs> because in the States, we do not have bagged milk. That's a Canadian thing. And I had absolutely no idea that milk came in bags. So I messaged her asking about it, I guess. And I, I said, do you need to refrigerate it? Because we have almond milk that you can buy for like your pantry that doesn't need to be. And she was like, well, yeah, it's refrigerated. It's cow's milk. We just put it in a pitcher in the refrigerator. So I was like totally perplexed by this, right? Fast forward, YouTube suggested video, American in Canadian grocery and then it said something about bagged milk or he was with bagged milk. So, of course, I have to. I mean, this is a couple days after having this conversation with Debbie. So I'm watching this video and, and it was hilarious because this dude's like I thought I was weird for thinking. I didn't think it was weird that. Well, yes, I did. I thought it was weird that milk was in a bag only because we don't have bagged milk. So this. American in this Canadian grocery was like totally perplexed. He's like, I'm totally confused by this entire section of the store because the milk was all in bags. So of course I messaged Debbie and we're going back and forth and I was messaging her about other things like Smarties in America are the same candies that in, in Canada, they're called ro Rockets or Rockies. Rockets, maybe. But our Smarties candy. So we just went back and forth. Well, while we were doing it, she said, you know, let me send you some stuff from here. And I was like, oh, let's do a swap. So I sent her a box and she sent me a box. Well, this is Tuesday. You guys, I got this on Friday. Was it Friday? Yes, Friday. Well, we had plans Friday and Saturday, so I was going to open it. We were going to open it on Sunday. Why well, didn't we open it on Sunday? That's weird. We had the whole day at home. What, I didn't, what did we do on Sunday? I didn't get off the couch until like 5.30. I bought mid-range tequila, and I think it was well tequila in a mid-range tequila bottle. Let's open the box. I'm so excited. This is all stuff from Canada. Plus, I'm hungry. 
Hmm. And I know there's snacks in here. The anticipation is killing me. Sorry, not good at pretty packaging. Me either. Of all of my crafts and all the things that I do, the absolute like number one thing that I am terrible at is wrapping presents. I don't even try. Not really. Oh, I'm terrible at it. She said, thanks so much for doing this with me. It's a lot of fun. I wish I could send you the really good Canadian stuff like poutine, which I've always wanted to try. Beaver tails, I have no idea what those are. I must Google, do you know what a beaver tail is? Yeah, it's a- big... Are you peeking? No, it's a big flappy thing at the end of the furry. Not a real beaver tail. No, no. Butter tarts. Um, I love butter and I love tarts, so <laughs> anything that is a butter tart, I'm pretty sure I'd love. And booze, well, of course. P.S. I had to add some indie dyed Canadian yarn. So it is a little yarny. Look at my gray. I don't know if y'all knew this, but growing glitter is one of my superpowers. Okay, go. Okay, go. You want the yarn? Oh, first? there's a wiener dog on the card. That was my childhood dog. His name was Poochie. Mm -hmm. Still have him in the box. Yeah, on, on the, the mantle. Um, and it was P-U-C-C-I. He was named after Gucci. Get it? Cause, Cause we bougie. Actually, we didn't name him. <laughs> Go. Good story. I still have to record an episode after this. All right, so we'll, we'll just go with the arm. Ooh. Right off the bat. Unless you want to save it for the episode. You want to open it in the episode? Crooked kitchen yarn knit up its scrumptious. I am. I'll save it for the episode. I'll make you guys wait. Dan, you so smart. Oh, these look like shoestring mm -hmm. staple in our house. Shoestring hickory, potatoes. Hickory sticks. <clears throat> Julian's, what does that say? Mm -hmm. A la hickory. We have something similar to these in a can. They come in a can. Mm. Oh, but. Well, it's one of those cardboard, like aluminum lined cardboard container things. Those are so good. Dan. Oh. That's like drinking out of a milk container. I'm starving and these are awesome. So we better move to the next. Ooh, they're like, they have a hickory flavor. Mm -hmm. That is super yummy. They're good. Now I want to see if we have anything similar to that. Oh. I've actually had these before. Actually, I've had the Pringles. I haven't had the Lay's, but ketchup chips. So, I, I have for years and years and years, 30 years, I have dipped potato chips in ketchup. And everybody thinks I'm weird. But what do y'all dip your fries in? Ketchup? Well, that's why. All right, so a chip's just a cold fry. I'll right? link, when I was talking about the American in the Canadian grocery store, I'll link that video below. That's exactly what he said. Yeah, I mean... He's like, I don't know why I think this is weird. We dunk our french fries in ketchup. I also mix my corn with mashed potatoes and pour ketchup over yeah, it. Yeah, I am not. Do y'all put do y'all put ketchup on eggs and shit? I don't yeah. do that. Hot no, sauce no, no. Ketchup. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're like purple. Mm. Yeah. Look at those. Yeah, it's like a glazed dip in ketchup. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Oh my god, it mm. does. Surprise! That is so weird. Seriously, it tastes just like ketchup. That is so weird. And if you put this in your mouth with an extreme dill pickle Pringle, you'd think you were eating a McDonald's cheeseburger. Ew. Seriously, Pickles good. Are, I, good. Actually, I asked her if she had any favorite flavors, and she's like, no, I like anything. And I'm like, I hate pickles. She's <laughs> like, oh, man, that was the first thing I was going to say. That was the number one thing I had on the list. But I love them, so. Dan love Dan will eat. He's like Mikey. That's not true. Olives are Oh, disgusting. those are so good. Mm. Our olive is a good girl. Yes. All the other olives olive. are disgusting. All right. Ready? Yes. Let's grab this guy. Maple crunch cluster. Maple sugar with rice krispies and chocolates. Of course, maple. All right. Because you have to get maple Canada, stuff from duh. Canada, eh? So I basically love chocolate. Cluster. 
What is it again? Oop. It's maple, maple sugar with rice krispies and chocolate. Yeah. It's like a turtle. Now, are we gonna share this so we can eat all the things? Well, how mm. about you eat it and I'll pretend I shared it with you. How about that? Dan's not big into chocolate. Mmm. Or fancy. People. I can't really compare it to anything. For one, it's thick. Well, you can I compare was, it to a lampshade. I, shut up. It's a chocolate -er, cho chocolate, chocolate -er than a lampshade. I was going to compare it to a Nestle Crunch Bar because, you know, chocolate and, and Rice Krispies, right? than a moist towel. Gross. <laughs> You're not good at this game. Tell me I'm wrong. It sounds crunchy. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's there's definitely crispier. some crunching going on. It's crispier than you would think. And then there's that maple flavor. I mean, the closest thing we would have to this would be a Nestle Crunch Bar, I would think. But our Nestle Crunch no, Bars are real flat. We have turtles that are not like the that. same thing. They're close. The definition of a turtle is nothing like this. Hard shell, soft inside, they can tuck up when they need to. Exact same thing. I don't know if you have turtles in Canada, but they were my grandma, Peg's, like, I don't know if they were. No, I think they stop all turtles at the border. You stop it. You have to smuggle them in. I don't know if they were her all-time favorite candy, but turtles were definitely one of her faves. And it's, it looks like a little cluster like that, but it's pecans on the bottom and then caramel in the middle and oh, they drizzle yeah, chocolate yeah. over top. Pecans and caramel. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That is a mouse. true turtle. You'll have to look it up then because I know I've seen those before. A rice. I've not had one. We do have that maple bun bread. bars. Oh, I should have yeah. sent her a bun bar. I never even thought of that. I bet those are because I know they're made here. They're kind of local-ish. Anyway, go on. Or a Goo Goo local Cluster. Oh, I bet she doesn't have Goo Goo Clusters either. For those of you who want to swap with your friends, look into that because I did, I did some. Oh, you mean food. Oh. Stop being dirty. I did Google a lot. I watched a bunch of videos because it was sort of hard. You Googled swap with your friends. No. What were the results on that? Hey, hey, hang on. Let, let me look that up. Buzzfeed will do. Canadians and Americans swap snacks. So I watched a bunch of those videos because I wasn't for sure what y'all had up there that we do or don't. You know what I mean? So Goo Goo Clusters and Bum Bars, I would add to the list. I should have added to the list to send to her. I thought you picked something up off the floor. I was like, ew, what are you doing? Okay, what's that? Are those rockets? They are. So look, you guys. Okay, so we have, let's see if they taste the same though. Because oh. you know how sometimes they have. The um, exact same thing. You don't know that. Go, go, go. Let me sit down. Let me sit down. Identical. They're Smarties. And I love them. Oh, I ripped it off, but it even says made in Canada and has a little maple leaf. And it's Halloween. These are always out at Halloween. That's like basically the only time I ever remember getting Smarties as a kid. Mm. Is that more yarny stuff? Oh. Ooh, that oh, one's sour. my lord. I we get a bag of stuff, right? Ne neither one of us are big syrupy people. But we have a friend. Actually, we have a couple of friends. Well, I don't drink it, but I, I like it. I used to work with. But, um, so we can get actual maple syrup from maple trees. They actually make syrup. But they're Indiana I've not had, maple trees. I've not had any of this. This is actually uh, Northern Ontario. Use it with the jam on pancakes. Pure maple Canadian syrup. Use it with mm. the jam. I'm guessing that this Aww. is jam. Uh, this is where their cottage is in oh, northern dude, Ontario. Their cottage is awesome. Wild Debbie's cottage is awesome. blueberry organic jam spread. We're not tasting this now. I can go get a spoon. No, I want to I want to eat at the rip. I want to you to eat jam out of the jar. I want. What's wrong with you? I want to eat it with legit. Whoa. 
And this we'll I want to share with like family. I want this would I want to save it for right. like a family breakfast. Really, Ooh. syrup and jam on pancakes. Yeah. I've never done that. Yeah, you've had fruit before. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, Jeans we put we put jelly on our toast. Not jelly, jam. But or jam. We we do. There is a difference. I have personally never seen anyone mix syrup and jam. Not that people don't do that here, but it's not normal. It's not like an, a normal occurrence. I've never seen anyone do it. So. We've been talking about doing bees out at the farm for a couple of years. Probably just keep talking about it, never actually do it. But apparently, I live in a region of honey. Aww. Which I would think in Canada would be not much. Like, they have a real short season. We have honey. Unpasteurized. Like, that's that's the good stuff. Ooh. Mm. And it's... By the way, my drink <laughs> is unpasteurized cider from two Down blocks away, which is three miles but they grow and press the apples down there and the bourbon that's in it came from downtown i had no idea these were options of honey white amber blueberry golden dark and buckwheat i have heard of buckwheat i've also heard of clover honey yeah it was that kid on uh and you can get it in liquid or cream buckwheat and alfalfa and what was the girl's name delilah in rugrats alfalfa rugrats Buckwheat and alfalfa. What are you, 17? Oh, little, ras little rascals? Thank you. Not rugrats. I knew what I meant. Yeah, nobody else did. Tommy's in rugrats. Tommy and Lillian. In rugrats. Lillian, was Lillian. that her name? What we have here is the closest thing to alcohol they would allow me to say. <laughs> oh, I'm so oh, nice. excited for this. Nice. Hurry up. That's cool. I love mustard. I love mustard. Like bougie mustard, not French's yellow mustard. No, I love French's yellow well, mustard. Right, I love all mustard. The bougie stuff. This is spirited Mickey, mustard and hops. Now we can't do tacos for dinner. I have to go get hot dogs. Ew, I don't eat hot dogs. What's dad always say? Hot dog Lip, a day keeps the doctor lips, away. Lips, hooves, and assholes or something. <laughs> No, hot dog's gross. It's like Christmas morning. You're taking oh, too long to open your present. Oh, this one's all yours. Arrow. And I don't know if you can see this. I actually had a friend bring... Is this Cadbury? Do they have Cadbury? Oh, it's, and Nestle. Ca oh, it's Nestle. Okay, I had a friend bring me back a candy bar from Ireland when he went. And it was... I think they called it a wisp. W-I-S-P. It's been many years ago. Whisp. It's like wheat, Will Wheaton. Whip. <laughs> it has like these air bubble pockets in it. So I'll save that because I want to eat the other things. I've had something similar and I love chocolate. It says feel the bubbles melt. But we do not have these or anything similar. I keep smelling those potato chips. So I really want those straws. We don't have <gasps> this either, but that looks kind of exciting. Yes, and we're going to try it because okay. I love anything cookie, wafery, anything. This is a you coffee try crisp. I'll try mine. Makes a nice light snack. I up. did see these on one of the swaps, and people freak out over them, I guess. This was listed as one of the, when my friends come back from Canada, I have them bring me. This was on the list. I tried not to look at those because I wanted to be surprised. Surprise! Oh, it smells like coffee. I love anything with wafers. <laughs> anything with wafers? If I put on loafers, does that count? Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Two thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's good. I can see why people want their friends to bring those back. And that's saying something because dude doesn't eat chocolate. Well, it's like a chocolate coating, but it's mostly not chocolate. I mean, it's cocoa, but it's coffee flavored. There's a gnat in here, and it's because they smell your cider. Ooh. Very, very local. Boom. Let me see. Was that giddy? Giddy, yo. That said. I'm giddy, yo. It says, you can tell I work in a funeral home because I thought that said our cremation, and it's our creation. Oh, I want to try this, but I want, I feel like I need to save it. This is... It does look fancy. 
not a candy bar. Dark chocolate, which I love. Raw Ecuadorian heirloom organic sweet vanilla, 69% cacao. Is that how you say it? Cacao. Cacao. Lots of buzzwords. A Canadian company, A. <laughs> a Canadian company, A, and it has little hockey sticks. Gluten-free, vegan, That's Canadian organic, non-GMO, USDA organic, sans gluten. Ar I thought that said arachnids. It's made out of spiders. It they grind up spiders, cook them, filter the hairs out. I'm not even going to try to say those words. I don't even know. Words are hard. This is the real deal. Keep out of reach of dogs. Literally. Keep it away from Ditto. Walked in today and he ate two gourds. Had them strung all over the house. Little pieces everywhere. That's what I get for trying to decorate. I'm, I'm going to save it. This is like red wine worthy. Like have a little chocolate with a glass of really good red wine. That this is, this is special. Next. <gasps> is that another kind? You get out of here. Shut up. This is fruit fruit. Very fancy. Nestle Aero. It's no the same kind. It's, Peppermint mint. It's feel the, the bubbles melts. It's the same as this, but oh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, plain yeah. chocolate and this is peppermint. That. Let's this. try this one. It's peppermint. Peppermint mint. It breaks like a Carmelo. Caramello. Car car is that what it's called? Yeah, I have no idea. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Mmm. Yeah, we do not have these. That, sorry, it's not focusing. It's like soft. You don't oh, want to really? try it, do you? I don't want to do it. I don't know. It's good. It's a Girl Scout <laughs> cookie, Thin Mint. Oh, it'd be good in the freezer, maybe. I think it'd be good on ice cream. Like chop mm, it up yeah. for an ice cream yeah, topping. Totally. Yeah. Okay, maybe. I want to eat another one, but let's go. Nope, can't. More arrow. We have. A white chocolate variation. Okay. Still very fancy. Let's try that too. Are you sure? This is weird. They're all you different. Might, you might want to try the next one instead. So this has four little, uh, or you know, like two rows of little nubbins that you break off. And this one has three. That's the technical word. If you're in the industry, they're nubbins. They know one of my favorite words is nubbins. My crochet has nubbins a whole bunch. All right, put that down. Okay. Because we have here Madagascar Vanilla Truffle Arrows. I love truffles in all forms. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wish you could smell it. I'm glad I can't. You don't want to try that one? No. It is very vanilla, but like bougie oh. vanilla. Right, it's Madagascar nice. vanilla. Like a lot of times the Madagascar vanilla, like ice cream, will have the beans. Like you can see the little specks from the bean. It's very vanilla. Did you get any oh, of wow. it in your mouth? It all went in eventually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. That's good stuff right there. Oh, my gosh. Sugar rush. All right. What did you call these? Smarty. Or rocket. No, what did you Smarties. call these? Turns out they're not. These are Smarties. Oh, they have Smarties there too? You had it upside down. They're still Smarties. Share size, format. That's the share part. size? This is the share. <laughs> In the States, this is not share the share size. size. Mm -hmm. Share mindfully and reclose. Oh, that's everything. Um, not everything, but a lot of stuff has dual language. French. Dual language. Dual language. Bi language. Two languages. Oh, these what, are like. What are the languages? I'm guessing Skittlesy. What What do you suppose those languages are? French. And. English. Canadian, duh. Shut up. Okay, so that is like an M and M, right? Like. How, how do they know? Are they going to agree? They're waiting for you to tell them. With, without the M on it. No more. And the colors are are muted compared to our M&Ms. And, of course, the chocolate, even though it's Nestle, tastes way different. I like them. 
it's just interesting that, well, I don't know. Nestle doesn't make M&Ms. Mars does, don't they? I think M&Ms are Mars. It's good. It's good chocolate. What does M&M stand for? You um, know how not all chocolates Mars created and equal. and McGilligutty? What? Somebody tell us. Down below. What does M&M stand for? Oh. Probably Mars and... I just saw this in a trivia, too. Mr. Misty. I don't remember. No, that's... I think these are my favorite. <laughs> how's that how's that shoestring working out for i think you? they're my favorite okay are we running yeah okay well we're not running i mean you don't run once you went on your bike with me i would run if something was chasing me and then i'd fall over and the zombie would get me what's this granola Sugar bush maple. Ooh, Ooh, it looks cool too. Sugar bush maple. Let's just open it and smell it. Oh, there's like, oh my gosh, there's all sorts of stuff in there. There's pecans and it looks like raisin something or another's and pumpkin seeds and maybe some coconut. Stop it. It doesn't smell maple. So I put it granola smells granola in my yogurt that I eat. Hmm. That went right in my project bag. Hmm. Yeah, we we both love granola. Awesome. Okay. Okay. She's actually one of the weirdos that buys these things at our store. Because I love everything with wafers. I don't think we can get this flavor, but I don't know because I don't shop for them. But it is a limited edition flavor. Do you know why? Because it's mother freaking pumpkin spice. Haven't we had enough of that? <laughs> oh, I'm kind of scared to open them because then, oh, we can take them with us on our trip. Ah, you ain't eating in my car. We have these, that, like this uh, brand, but I have never seen pumpkin spice. Mmm. That's so weird. It tastes like pumpkin pie with crunchies. That is weird. Like, what's my... What's my love of wafer cookies? I love them. N Nutty Buddies, Nutter Butters. Nutty Buddies are the generic kind. I like those too. <laughs> Nutter Butters aren't wafers. Mm-hmm. They're cookies. Oh, Nutty Bars. What's those the are Little Debbie? Yeah, yeah, those are wafers. Nutty Bars. Nutty Bars. Frozen while camping. Mm. The only thing about these is you have to immediately put them in a Ziploc baggie or they get stale real fast. Uh, immediately. Immediately. Don't be cheating. Oh, wait. Just spread it on toast. Yum! Okay, okay. Huh, two more things she's into. Maple and butter. Ooh, maple butter? What? It's like peanut butter but maple butter. <gasps> I'm real excited. You just put it on toast, huh? I had no idea maple butter was a thing. Look at it. It's um, kind of like when you buy natural peanut butter and it separates. So do you stir it? It doesn't say anything about stirring. Is that just like assumed? Maybe you just dip down in and get, I'll figure it out. What I love that? how she has a little note. I didn't put notes on any of my stuff. We were just like, here. Well, I said, I told her to open the card after she opened all the things, I think. Hmm. So I didn't ruin the surprise when I was talking about the stuff in the card. Okay, go. <gasps> this was in the, yay, I want to try one. I want to try one. This was in that video where the American was with the bag milk. 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 These... Oh, and they come in halves. I think he had the whole ones. These are like our moon pies, or they look like our moon pies. Oh, and you can I was get gonna say, half the best of part ones. of that video is they tried the stuff in the parking lot, but milk in a bag, they couldn't drink it out of a container. Pitcher, there was, so it was not a container. They took the bag and like, cut the corner off, and they're out there drinking out of a milk bag in the parking lot. That was the American was. And of course, the Canadian was good. losing his shit because he was like, oh my God, it works. You got it to work. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Mmm. 
like it's like red velvet. Maybe not. It looks brown on there, but it looks kind of pink in real life. Do you know what red velvet cake is? Yes, chocolate chocolate. That's awesome. This is more, okay, so a moon pie here, the marshmallow, is that even marshmallow or is it just cream? Oh, I don't know. A moon pie is marshmallow and it's real, it's more like a marshmallow. Like it's, like when you bite into it, you like pull the marshmallow apart. This is more like a ho-ho or a ding-dong. Ding-dong. Mm, no, most of it's in French. This is like my appetizer for dinner. I speak French. So and yeah, and here's the thing. I, feel, I, I grew up in a very small town and our only uh, foreign language was mm. Spanish. So I couldn't even... 130 calories per cake. Not bad. I mean, it's all saturated fat. But, but I don't have any idea how to... Speak French? Yeah, well, you know, like... I don't know how to speak Spanish either, but I could read a sentence. And is in 1983. But what's J O S? I know that. Like, how do you say this? That looks like Joss Lewis to me. But Jose Lue? Well, Jose would be. Whoever he was, in he hit Spanish. the market, and the success of his famous little cake propelled the company in the new heights. That's for sure. Some people hate it when hate people what? eat on camera. Right. I'll put oh. a warning at the beginning of the video. If you hate watching people eat, don't watch this. Hmm. I love the half. The I love the half. That is brilliant. I need somebody to tell me how that's pronounced. She was watching old episodes. Debbie was. She was. She said that she watched a couple of my old episodes. And I knit a hat. And I didn't know how to pronounce toque. And I was like, I don't know how, what this word is. It was like way when I first started making videos. I was like, toke? You know, like, toke? <laughs> and she was like, I was rolling. I'm like, I'm way more familiar with the word toke, I suppose, than I am too. <laughs> All right, so we got one more thing. But it's the shameless plug in his nitty stuff. Mm. So y'all have to turn into, to turn into, turn into frogs. Tune in. Turn into pumpkins at midnight. Tune in. Tis the season. The yarny stuff what? will be... On the episode, which this is an episode. We're gonna record now. This is kind of like a bonus episode. My an actual podcast episode. So we're gonna record yeah. that now. Yeah. So we're gonna say bye well, for yeah, now. One more. Oh, we do. Yeah. She <sighs> didn't come from Canada. No, she didn't come from Canada. But this did. Oh. I didn't forget Olive and Ditto. This is Olive. Ditto's outside. Olive, Debbie got you treaty treats. <laughs> she got you treats. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. These are from... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you can't eat the bag. These are from Canada. Oh, my. <laughs> she right. has about four yeah, teeth in her little, head, so. Let me put her on the floor. <laughs> I think it's safe to say she likes them. Approved. <laughs> there. There. Those are. Aww. She is a fan. She loves them. And we'll give Ditto his when he comes in. Oh, yeah. All right, Debbie, thank you so much. It was awesome. This was a blast and so much fun. I highly suggest if you have friends Swap that are with not their partners. That should be the title of the video. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't like yarny and fiber related, but this was a whole lot of fun and I uh, think that you guys should go check out Debbie's podcast, The Canadian Crotchter. I think she also did an opening. I have not seen the video yet, but I think she posted it today, actually. I'll watch that later. I think you all should go. I'll, I'll uh, tag all the things below. And uh, thank you so much, Debbie. I think that Canada has awesome stuff, and I will physically go there one day. I promise we will go. We need to go. There there are sweet places up there that I want to visit. Dang nabbit. Dang nabbit. Dang nabbit. So now we're going to record an episode. Bye. Where's, where's Olive? Where's Olive? Where's Olive? Where's Olive? Where's Olive?
Spit. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's maple bacon. Woo! Where, where, where are you going? Was it good stuff? Say thanks, Debbie. 